Ratios and Proportions C9 The two numbers are in the ratio of 3 is to 5. Their sum is 56. Find the numbers. So we are getting into slightly more complicated questions now. Two numbers are in the ratio of 3 is to 5, right? So we'll write 3 is to 5 are two numbers, right? It, what is sum of 3 and 5? 3 plus 5 is equals to, we'll do it here. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Okay. Now, if 8 is your number, now, if 8 is the sum of your numbers, then the two numbers are 3 and 5. But what is your sum? Sum is 56, not 8. Sum is 56, not 8. So, if the sum is 56, then we find what is the scale factor? So what is the scale factor? So scale factor is 8 times what is 56. So what you can do is, you can do 56 divided by 8 and you know it is 7. So the scale factor is 7, correct? 7 times 8 is 56. That means that the two numbers should be multiplied by 7. Then their sum is going to be 56. Do you understand? So our scale factor is 7. We'll multiply both these numbers by 7. If you multiply them by 7, 7 times 3 is 21. And 7 times 5 is 35. Correct? So these are the two numbers. Let's check their answer. So 21 plus 35, what do we get? We get 6 and 5. 56. So that is correct. Therefore, we can say that our answer is that the numbers are 21 and 35. So this is one way of solving, right? Now let me give you alternate of solving. Alternate way of solving. So another way of solving the same question would be when we say that the two numbers are in ratio of 3 is to 5, then the numbers are 3x and 5x, right? So we don't know the scale factor. So we write x for them. Correct? That is how we write the numbers. And then say their sum is 56. That means 3x plus 5x is equals to 56. Do you see that? So we get an equation. And this equation can be solved by combining like terms. 3x plus 5x is 8x. So 8x equals to 56. So what is x equals to? We can divide by 8. You get x equals to 56 divided by 8, which is 7, right? So we get x as 7, correct? Now, we know x. Earlier, we didn't know this x, which we call scale factor. Now, we can write down the numbers are Three times seven and five times seven. Do you see? Three times seven, which is twenty-one, and five times seven, which is thirty-five. Correct? And therefore, we get our answer as twenty-one and thirty-five are the numbers, right? Whose sum is fifty-six. Do you see? You understand how we did it, right? So that is another way of doing the same question. Follow the method which you like most. Okay, thank you.